Hello, hello, and welcome to another tarot slash oracle video. What's up? Uh, today we're going to be talking about trust in self in this video. Um, I pulled a couple different cards and I wanted to make like four videos. So this is the topic that we're talking about. Uh, I trust that I am no longer there. Uh, what was it? Oh, I trust that I'm on the right path. Um, this is it. I don't know. It's backwards also, so whatever. Um, but yeah, that's what we're going to be talking about today. Yeah, that's what we're going to be talking about today. Um, I also actually might, I might write some notes down uh, just to like keep tally of if there's anything that really pops out that I'm like, yo, you should really just kind of keep this in mind because one thing that I'm really good at is cluing in on the details that you might not really notice. They're really small details, but small details really do matter when it's like you really want to change the overall picture because in the small details, that's usually where the problems are and the solutions. So if you can get to uh, have a perspective or like have someone like me give you kind of how I see it. Maybe I can give you some clues that you haven't seen before. So that is my whole objective is to really just help you kind of manifest, I suppose, especially trusting in yourself. Um, it is a great feeling to have, but sometimes it's hard for us to do so. So um I myself am working on trusting myself even more as I grow and it is a very wonderful journey but hard you know it's hard um but yeah so trust that I trust that I am on the right path okay so I'm gonna like just set up a little bit more oh yeah man alive I went rollerblading actually uh, today. It's also Thanksgiving when I'm filming this. The, I think it's like the 25th, 24th of November. Really? Really? Uh, 24th, wow. 24th of November, nice, okay. So honestly, that's a really interesting, I always think November is such a, I don't know, every single month that I'm in, I feel like is, it's like weird, because I'm like, I kind of forget all the other winters I've experienced, like I only live now, do you ever feel like, like each season that's changing, you feel like, you're like, oh, like you kind of like, forgot about it for a while and then you're like oh you're recalling it anyway so um anyway so yeah so I went rollerblading it was great and it's something that my inner child really wanted me to do for a while so I feel very fulfilled it honestly is like the best Thanksgiving I've ever had uh so I'm really excited but anyway so let's begin I trust that I am on the right path what do you need to know about that you are epic right off the bat. Of course you are. You're epic. Overthinking can spoil the magic. Notice how these two are a bit distance apart in between. So it's almost as if it's like the overthinking and then you are epic. Your epic is you obviously, no matter what kind of mistake that you make, you know that there's always going to be like, gold within it right and then overthinking you tend to need to have a lot of detail to feel satisfied that that's the right answer that's the right path that's the right direction overthinking you're using a lot of how would i say this you're like obsessive over it you're obsessing over the details and there's nothing wrong with obsession but until it gets to a point where it's draining you, where it's like you're not balanced. It's like you're not 
you're draining yourself when you're like obsessing over that, like overthinking. I trust that I am on the right path. So one thing about trust is you release the need to know. I'll just let you kind of just sit with that. You release the need to know when you trust. What do you really want? Okay. And it landed in between balance and your epic, right? So how can you get to that feeling of feeling like your epic? Fearless expression. And honestly, this looks to me like a microphone. You know what I mean? And I think it's one of the chakra uh, symbols, but I'm not really sure one, uh, which one. But um, that's funny. It, it's also the number 55 as well. That's funny. I love that. Uh, but you're epic. So fearless expression. Ooh, ooh, fearless. You know what that means, right? You are without fear. Whoa. Overrate your intuition. Okay, I really don't know what the word overrate means. I, ha I had this actually flip out for me. Um, like, I was doing a reading for myself, and I really like these cards. Um, but it came up, and I was just like, what does overrate mean? Um... I don't know, like, you know, over and then rate. I kind of like when it comes to these words specifically, I'm kind of like splitting it, splitting it up and being like dissecting the definition. But I'm guessing it's like, you're like kind of in a way, you're like your intuition to me what this means. I don't really know what over rate is, okay? So if I'm way off, then just find the definition of overrate, right? But to me, it means that you're like amplifying how much you honor your intuition. One thing about honoring is you like think that's your, that's like a superhero. That's like um, some kind of like muse that makes you feel like you want to go through all the tough stuff to become whoever that is, right? That inspiration. Lead your metamorphosis, right? So leading your metamorphosis, right? So when it comes to amplifying, and you could even say, all right, maybe over-exaggerating how much you want to honor your intuition, meaning you literally just one day say, hey, I'm going to honor my intuitions, intuitions, nudges, kind of like whispers, your intuition will always like whisper. It'll be very more so like soft, I would say. Your ego would be very much so. Um, kind of like very amplified, very much so sun encouragement and the intuition is more so the moon encouragement, if you will. But lead your metamorphosis, right? So when it comes to like over-exaggerating your int intuition, really just, and this is going to sound very interesting when you think about it, but one day decide that all your beliefs, you're going to set them aside and you're literally going to follow what your intuition, what you feel like doing, right? And so that might mean that you will feel like doing the dishes and you do the dishes. It might mean that you feel like you want to watch TV all day and you do that. But somewhere along the line of your intuition, your inner child is also at play. Your inner child is like, I really think your intuition can help you see within your inner child's kind of like perspective because one thing for me I deal with is I have a lot of fear that is with my inner child, but I know that my intuition is like a really great connector for me to know my inner child and for my inner child to know me without us being like super fearful of one another because 
you know, somewhere along the way we disconnected at some times and it's like two people. If you know each other when you're younger and then older, you meet up again. It's kind of awkward. Your intuition is like the connector that makes it less awkward for you and more easier for you to reconnect with. Uh, nourish the sacred feminine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Feed your artist. Inspiration. Oh, you know what, though? Okay, I really do love when it comes to feeding your artist. Feeding that, like, Picasso in you. You know what I mean? Like, there's something about it that just... It feels like it fills this cup that I've been looking to search on filling for so long and it's like part of like all this analytical stuff when it comes to the manifestations because when it comes to manifestations and when it comes to like knowing when you are on the right path because for me I always now I don't know about you if you don't always wrap your like life around manifestations ignore this part okay but I'm gonna go off on a little like tangent of what I've experienced so I have manifested this like place I live in. I literally manifested it within two weeks, but it was at a point where I like needed a place like I was homeless. So this was this is my dream apartment come true, but it took years. It took years for me to get to here to get to here. I had to leave an abusive situation to get to here. I had to separate myself from my family to get to here but it was very much so years 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 friends years okay and I really feel like when it comes to trust you have to have that patience because patience is a way where you can help release all this need for it to be like happening right now Maybe you're not in the right place where you need to be for you to have what you really want to achieve. Maybe you have to go through some hard stuff to really learn how tough you are. Because the harder the stuff you go through, the tougher you come out to be. And sometimes we get a little too tough, right? You know, We get a little too masculine thinking we can take it all. But we do have that feminine side to us, which is connected to our intuition, which can let us know that we are doing like the best we can. We're on the right path. We are. It's like that assurance, that kind of like, yeah, you're doing great. You know, that motivator that reminds you that, yes, you are on the right path. Even if you are making a lot of mistakes, you can take those mistakes and learn lessons from them. You can find that. Um, but yeah, that is, that's what I'm getting with uh, that, honestly. Um, I'm going to pull some more cards, but I really feel like I really got the overall message of what kind of message we all need to hear, honestly, because I'm right with you. Like, I'm, I'm human too, y'all. This is fucking crazy shit I go through. And it's fun, but I find that it is mind-boggling. And honestly, me just kind of like going through this and sharing with you what I see really does help me because like, I also relate to this also. It's like we're kind of like collective wise I don't know I'm not really sure yet but I'm just kind of like this is my outlet honestly this is my outlet I spend a lot of time alone I do not have any pets which I wish I had my cat but you know right now I have to be patient I'm on the right path but you know eventually my cat will come back to me and we'll live together I can't wait it's like I've never had my own apartment before so this is my first apartment um, but I can't wait to have it with my cat, uh, and just like, yeah, he's my bud. <laughs> also, alkaline water, you know, it's kind of like more expensive, but why not? It literally tastes so different. I don't know how to explain it, but it feels 
tastier. I don't know. It's like, have you ever seen that cat in t on TikTok? That was just like, <coughs> yeah. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking about other random stuff and get back. Okay. Starting at 15. Nah. All right. <coughs> so we went over a lot of Oracle uh, messages, kind of like directions it gave us. <coughs> it gave us a really good flow. <coughs> um, I just really want to. <coughs> Maybe <coughs> not. Fucking. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So in the end, right? Trust in self. <coughs> okay, I'm done. Yeah, I can't do this. You guys literally won't let me talk. Literally won't let me talk. I'm like, all right, fine, 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 fine. They're like, <coughs> <coughs> throat chakra. This is what happens, y'all. This is what happens. God damn it. I love it though. It's, it's humbling, but damn, do I feel human. <laughs> okay. So, <coughs> right, here's what we're going to do now. This is going to be fun, okay? So now we're going to see, before this video, what was your relationship with your intuition, okay? So I shuffled, okay? I'm going to shuffle again. So before the video, what was your relationship with the in your intuition, all right, I'm gonna take the top card. I always love this because it's always like, oh my gosh. Okay, so before we're gonna get justice, okay? So before your intuition was definitely about the balancing overall, right? Your relationship with your intuition is balanced. Good job. Or it's like on the mindset of how to balance out um the relationship you know whatever the pros and whatever the cons you know balancing it out equalizing you need both to make it all one okay present now the three of pentacles interesting okay so now you feel like you have almost like a motivating inspiration to really tell or to make some kind of, um, you're like expressing, right? You're like expressing almost like that inspiration, if you will, with your, the relationship with your intuition. Um, meaning maybe you're ready to start, mm, oh, maybe you're ready to actually start making judgment calls uh, from your uh, intuition. And like actually start uh, dedicating your life towards kind of living through like your intuitions gaze. I don't know. You know what I mean? Like your intuition is in the driver's seat and now it's making the judgment calls and you're going with whatever direction they're like driving in, I guess. Um, and then in the future, right? Your intuition. Let's see the relationship with your intuition. All right, one more. Okay. Top card. All right, we have the Five of Swords. Okay. So, Five of Swords, okay. People-pleasing. 
doing work or making effort in areas where maybe other people need to need to do that themselves hmm. Mm -hmm. one thing about your intuition is it will not care about like how would i put this your intuition really does let you know when you are using too much of your own energy and your own time and your own effort uh, and using that for like other people, but not using it for you. Um, your intuition will definitely let you know that. One thing that could happen with the Three of Pentacles is it's at like the beginning still like it's not past like the five of pentacles which is half of one through ten of pentacles so you're like still in essence maybe like gosh i'm trying to think of percentage wise like 0.25 percent you know you're not like a hundred percent or whatever or like you're 25 percent. you're not a hundred percent so it might be that when it comes to the three of pentacles um, the balance of using your energy to, uh, like using your energy might need to be kind of looked at in tune of, are you kind of like using too much energy, um, or do you have too much excessive energy that you need to use off? Something about like the giving and the receiving is really coming from this card. Um, but in tunes of that, that's how I see <laughs> it all going down. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm very much so like, that was kind of cool how it all flowed together, honestly. Um, I I don't know, quite honestly. I just love it because it makes sense to me. And I'm like, oh yeah. Like I totally relate to this so much because I do go through a lot. <laughs> like, I do go through a lot, but um, I've learned a lot about myself, about my life, and it's amazing. But honestly, like, trusting your intuition is a power. It is, ooh, you are, you would be a superhuman if you can get so much so into trusting your intuition that you get your own, like, your own tell of your energy, right? And hear me out when I say this. When you know your own energy, you can then tap into the flow of just life's energy. And that's when manifestation comes into play. Like it is, it happens. It happens when you can like balance out like your intuition. Oof, okay? We have sweetheart. We have over justice, we have fortune over the three of pentacles, and then we have cheerfulness over the five of swords. Okay, so justice with sweetheart, right? So maybe one thing with intuition, oh, okay, so I don't know if this is really much more so in terms of sweetheart and in terms of justice, and we're talking about trusting your intuition, you know, if you're single or whatever, really tuning into your intuition can help with like dating and everything because like intuitive, we know if a person is like meant for us or if a person isn't. Uh, and when it comes to like cutting cords and trusting your intuition, like I would definitely, at least in my experience, when I trusted my intuition with uh, past romantic experiences, I did save myself time and energy uh, and effort with uh, it just, it, it wouldn't work out because you know what? Like there are a lot of fish in the sea, but like there are certain fish that work with certain fish and there are certain fish that don't work with certain fish. Like sharks do, I'm pretty sure, eat tiny fish. You know what I mean? Like, you know, we're all different and we're all like similar and we all have like things, right? But like ultimately what I'm trying to say is like your intuition will absolutely give you some guidance, some helpful guidance when it comes to making decisions that 
for your better good, for your overall good, for your higher good, like it would be for your good. You know what I mean? Like even if cutting cords is very hard, sometimes it will actually help you lift that weight, lift that stress that maybe those people add into your life. You have that ability to cut those cords. I did. I did. Baby, I did. And oof, you know, it hurts sometimes. I'm alone. But you know what? I got me. My intuition. I got my ego. I got my inner child. You know, there's a lot to me that you don't even see. Wah, wah, wah. But yeah, so that's what I see with Justice and Sweetheart is like, if it is about like trusting your intuition when it comes to dating, overall, baby, learn, learn to really balance out that intuition's guidance and trusting it. It will help you with time, energy, and effort. Um, and also like, suppose that you are with someone that you don't feel super satisfied with and you don't cut cords, you could be missing out on a chance with someone who you would be way better off, like feeling more satisfied with. You know what I mean? So even if you're saying, well, my, oh my gosh, my landlord said this once to me. He was like, he was like, uh, he was like, if you're saying yes, you're still saying no to another opportunity or it was like, if you're still, or it's like, man, I forgot, man, I wish I could remember. If I do remember, I'll put it in the description box, but it's a really cool quote. But anyway, um, fortune and three of pentacles. So fortune and three of pentacles. Okay. So it is going to feel like when you do finally feel that trust in your intuition, you will be able to get, I would say like, you know, whatever it is that you're dreaming about achieving in your life, um, you are going to be able to get that a lot. I don't want to say easier, <laughs> you know, I don't know. It might not be easy, but like the manifestations could come maybe with more ease. We'll go with that because I don't want to say it'll be easier or it'll be quicker. I don't fucking know. Okay. I don't know, but I can definitely tell that with the three of pentacles and fortune, you will at least be feeling that type of like kind of pride. Like, yeah, but it's like this pride where you like actually have like almost like physical attributes connected to it. Or it's like where you can show off somehow. I'm not really sure. But I definitely get that feeling of showing off. Like uh, sh share and tell or uh, show and tell. Is that? I forgot whatever it was when I was like in school. In elementary, you would do like show and tell. Shit. I forget. It was so long ago. Not really, but you know. Okay. And then we have the five of swords and cheerfulness. Okay, so I did kind of go off. <laughs> I did kind of go off on this, like the five of swords, mostly cause anyway, it's not important. But with it connected to cheerfulness, I feel like it's talking about almost like responsibilities. Or it's like those kind of things where you're like, I don't have to, but you know what? It's kind of like, how would I say it? It's like coming from a source of like goodwill. It's coming from a source of like compassion for those around you. But like, it's like, it revives your soul essentially like you helping out others in terms of maybe people or not like people pleasing but like helping others out right when maybe they are going through a lot and you're like I guess you know I do have enough energy to pick up all these swords like I got you guys I got you bros I got you I got you right you're in that I got you energy and it's like that cheerfulness like it's giving you the confidence to stand up and declare Hallelujah, let's drink to that, or, you know, water, right? Right. But yeah, so the five of swords and cheerfulness, you're really in that, I, yeah, I guess compassionate kind of like balance. Maybe like you're overall like with 
in terms of because we do have like yeah you are epic at the very beginning and then we were saying uh overthinking can spoil the magic you know with your intuition trusting it um if you do overthink you will uh like the water will boil over and it will kind of like splash out and it will like maybe the fire if you have like a fire stove the fire would like get bigger or something like that and like you know you don't have as much water in your pot because it boiled over because the more overthinking that you do the more tension that you put on right the more pressure you put on the more the whatever source you believe in i believe in the universe people believe in whatever but the more the universe for me like if i was overthinking of like is this going to work is this going to work all that doubt is going to fill up and it's going to like basically just kind of like the universe is like well if this person has doubt maybe they're not strong enough to make those mistakes and learn from them or something like that um you know misfortune is what popped up right so all that misery and everything, all that doubt of you like making those same mistakes in the future, like, yes, you could, but have like, if you've taken the time to learn from those mistakes, then you'll at least have some kind of like, um, like you have some bullets for your gun to fight for yourself. You know what I mean? Like you have the capability of fighting whatever lays in front of you, whatever, uh, like whatever you need to move past to get to that feeling. You already have it. You are epic. You're epic. Like whoever it is I'm talking to, you're epic. But it's about the the trusting that can really amplify that kind of like belief that you're epic. Um, yeah. Yeah. So that's what I'm getting overall. Such a wonderful message. You know what I mean? Anyway. But yeah. So I hope you guys overall have a fantastic journey with life. Love. And the pursuit of whatever. Um, for me, it's just like, I don't even know at this point. I'm just flowing. You know, I'm like, okay, it's another day. I'm like, okay, yes, baby. Uh, but yeah, anyway, so I will see you in another video. Um, drink some water too, I guess, is something I could, a word of advice if you want. I don't know. But anyway, whoa. Uh -huh, okay. Uh -huh, okay. Anyway, um, yeah. See you later.